Hey guys, Drive here, and today I'm doing a video reaction video on bus drivers being jerks. So, uh, let's see what we got on this first one. That is messed up. I mean, that, that bus driver is clearly drunk, and they're not, and the bus driver isn't letting them off the bus. Uh, Alright, next one. Pause that real quick. Anyways, on the last one, I mean, pretty good. Pretty good with them girls trying to get them kids off the bus. I mean, that driver was clearly drunk out of her mind. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, please tell me. You're fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry, what was that? I said you're fucking F U C K I N G ridiculous. Damn, that's my strawberries. Messed up. Oh, <laughs> He's trying to kill people. <laughs> that driver yeah, has some angles. Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry, what did you do My name's Fuck You and Your Bullshit. <laughs> Muted because the name, okay. Five minutes later. <laughs> I want to go for the record to say we could all be home right now, but Rhonda had to stop the bus because I sat with another student. For the record, just by the way, we could all be home. But me. Oh, right now, a... you Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I am sick of your shit. It's been constant since I've been on this bus. You have targeted me for the stupidest shit. I'm sitting with a student, no problem at all. All these other students sitting with students, you don't have a problem with that. But when I sit with another student, you immediately toss the can't sit together. You want to explain why? Yeah. No reason. I mean, there isn't. No reason there's at no all. reason. There's no I'm, reason why I, see, I that, can't sit with her. That and boy you can't sat anything. next to a student in. While everybody else was, this is a fucking everybody else was sitting next to students talking with a boy or a girl, and the driver doesn't have a problem with it. He sits next to a student, the driver automatically shit. jumps on his ass. How about you tell the PA how much bullshit you're filling us with? Just crazy. If I were that student, I would just stand up and freaking get off I mean, the bus your job right is to there. Get in a bus and drive us home. But instead, you make it difficult by complaining about everything. Everything. All the other bus drivers Young have... Man, nobody else on this bus needs to be tormented by your language or what no you... No one's being tormented on this bus besides you because you have a problem with everything. 
No other bus driver has cares. I apologize to everyone else. How about you apologize uh, to me, you bitch? Obviously, the bus driver thought he was going to have sex with the student jacket. he sat next to. Which, why? Why do that on a bus? I mean, if them two and sports on the girlfriend, they can wait till they get home. I mean, we are gonna. Did, did that driver call the cops? There it is. Bye, Matt. That is fucked up. Such an awkward angle. Hey, I gotta see how I gotta see this part. Yes, Open that window. Wow. That is that one's just messed up. Okay. This one is uh video another one of the best writers being so refusing to let the students off the bus and they're just absolutely terrified. He starts screaming at them. And their parents. Two center fives still live the best driver right person screams. It certainly is, and you're about to see why. And this is really unbelievable and to at watch their how scary this must have been for the kids. How scary it must have been for their parents. An angry I mean, bus driver trying to prove a if point. If I would have been one of the parents, the case, it's not how you do it. Then the driver clearly fed up, angry course, at how the kids are acting, the locks police. the doors, turns off the air conditioning, I mean, and refuses to let them off the bus. And I would have pressed the charges against the bus driver for putting my child in danger like that. Hey, you're the one that said that you're a fraud for not getting off the bus. The kids are now scared. They beg to get off the bus, even start to cry. To any bus driver, if you're a bus driver, if you're a student, don't do this. I mean, if you're best job, don't do this to the children on the bus. This time, his daddy because and several it's other parents end up, were at the bus trying to get to end their well kids. You. But the defiant driver it's, turns on them. You're gonna be listen to him when one parent tries to pry over the door. Go to jail. Or both. With the situation now completely out of control, the driver when the his parents had to try opening up the doors the to the bus. To get I no the children off. I didn't know if he was, you know, went crazy and was going to go crash into something. Because the way he took off, he was speeding. So Adam Kaufman jumps into his car, followed the bus with his five-year-old trapped inside, and called 911. The driver eventually stopped at the elementary school. Police were waiting. That's when he and the kids were finally taken off the bus. Yeah, the parents said there's no excuse for this. The school district agrees, saying in part the district is conducting an investigation regarding concerns of the bus route. Bus driver has been placed on administrative leave while the investigation not fired. is conducted. Did, uh, not fired? Did not you see, did you yeah. see the line of the parents, parents going by as I the mean, bus was off? That was probably the scariest part for the kids yes. when he sped off well, right in front of the parents. That a bus driver deserves to be wow. yes. put on an administrative leave like that. Anyway, yep. This one is of a bus driver being fired after dropping a young student. Now a story student. that's all new on Fox 5 News Edge at 11 tonight. A Forsyth County that's school wrong. bus driver is out of a job tonight. After school officials acknowledge that she left a six-year-old girl at the wrong spot. Fortunately, a coming private investigator spotted that scared kindergartner on the side of a Canton Highway and safely transported her to the sheriff's office. Fox News George Franco joining us now live from Forsyth County with the story. George, we understand that this PI recorded his interaction with this little girl. 
Tom, this was a private investigator who had her GPS Again, if, activated if camera on when child, she was here on Canton Highway and recorded the troubles of this six year old little girl who was scared for... and confused. Now the bus driver involved has been fired. Just as I suspected. And when I see this little girl, she was running and walking, running and walking, and she was crying. From GPS video, we see the little girl who caught the attention of private investigator Jane Holmes. She and her friend made a U-turn on Canton Highway, finding a scared and confused Juliana Pimentel. I love my family. Private investigator Holmes told me her encounter with the six-year-old was off camera so I imagine at the these side door. Since the little girl the had no idea, she took her to a safe place. To the I didn't know the circumstance, so I said, well, let's just take her down to the um, sheriff's department headquarters. Ms. Holmes told me the sheriff's office located the little girl's parents through the school district. My wife calls me right away and tells me they found Juliana. As a father, I assumed the worst. Mr. Pimentel told me his daughter was supposed to be dropped off at her day care not her home the school district investigated the december 16th incident firing 48 year old shelly mckinley who was filling in for the regular bus driver i feel that is a justice you know she put my daughter in harm she's an adult she knew the school district says the situation is very serious we're deeply sorry it happened to a student and her family grateful to mrs holmes for securing the student for Scythe county schools committed to ensuring every student is safe it's a blessing thank you the pimentels and jane holmes are now more than friends bonded after juliana was found by a private investigator who knows the realities of the world to us this was a really huge thing because I know the evil out there, and this child could have been abducted. Mr. Pimentel and uh, Mr. Pimentel and private investigator Holmes tell me that Juliana was coming from Cumming Elementary when this all happened. They say that this is a lesson not just for for Scythe County Schools, but all school districts and school bus drivers to five. take care of the training and take care of the children okay. when something like this could occur. Mr. Pimentel says his little girl now wears a GPS bracelet to make sure she oh, doesn't wow. get lost again. Reporting live tonight in for Scythe. County. I'm George Franco. Fuck that. It was that PI that found that little that girl. That seems like something I would okay actually give my George children to make sure they were always story. safe. So I always do that. I mean, I mean, Yo, what's going on, guys? Jack Exclusive here, wanting to kill myself. And, uh, you know, guys, this is the current state of our public education transportation, guys. Hashtag two buses. Hashtag two buses. Hashtag two buses. Hashtag two buses. Start the hashtag. Hashtag two buses. Hashtag two buses. Yeah, uh, they said free showers, so I was getting pretty dirty. I wanted to go to the shower. They also said there's an oven for us. I don't know if they're going to bake us a pizza. Donuts? Yeah, bake us a pizza or something. It's, it's going to be pretty lit. You know what I mean? Yes, you. He's tall. I'm sitting down. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm sitting down. I mean, this I'm kid is just really down. tall and... The driver just don't does not understand. Some people are tall. It's not his fault. Tall lives matter. Don't forget it. If you agree that no child should ever be put in danger, that any bus driver that would do something like this should be fired or go to jail for endangering students' lives and putting and worrying their parents and scaring them half to death. Please hit that thumbs up button. If you have any crazy bus stories, uh, tell, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and that's it for these this video. If you're new to my channel, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button.
开敲来的